If you are struggling with the unable to verify app error while installing apps, then in this video, I will show you a powerful fix using all new and advanced DNS setup by WSF that temporarily unblocks the PPQ domain for seamless verification. This not only resolves the verification error, but also lets you install unlimited IPA file even with revoked certificates. Let's head over to Safari browser and visit this website, link will be in description, and download all new DNS by WSF. Tap here, and you will be redirected to this website. Simply tap on get link option, and on the next page, tap on this skip. Now stay on the page for 10 seconds to unlock the content, and then tap on get website. Finally tap on open, and download this game changing DNS into your device. This new DNS blocks PPQ domain during normal usage, and unblocks it during installation process. Let me show how. We just downloaded the DNS, so head over to settings, and navigate to VPN and device management, and simply install the DNS. If you are using an old DNS, then immediately switch to this DNS, by turning on airplane mode. Once installed, you will notice that under DNS option, a new setup is appearing, which says install. Make sure it's selected, like you see here. Now let's install the IPA signing tool like eSign, KSign, or Feather app, using a revoked certificate. And I will use any one of these to prove my point. Head over to the same TechiBuff website, and tap on any certificate, in my case, I will try the TCL certificate. Next, tap on open, and then tap on install. Let's go back to home screen, and as you can see, KSign is installed successfully without any error. But wait, please note, that if one certificate does not work, try another until you find a working one. Once installed, let's go ahead and trust the certificate by navigating to settings, and to VPN and device management. And simply trust, and restart the device. Once the device boots up, it's important to launch the app once, and navigate to settings option of KSign, and into certificates option. As it's empty, let's go ahead and download a revoked certificate. Head over to website, scroll down, and simply tap on the certificates button, and download the certificate zip file. Once the certificate zip file is downloaded, now launch the files app, and locate the certificate zip file. Once located, tap on it to extract the same. And inside the extracted folder, navigate to KSign folder, and now I will focus on the TCL certificates only, as this certificate worked for me. Now go back to KSign app, tap on this plus icon here, and tap on import KSign file. Now locate extracted certificate folder, and import the correct certificate into KSign app. Once imported successfully, it's time to sideload IPA file using a revoked certificate. Navigate to the file section of KSign app, and tap on this plus icon here. Select import files. And now locate, and select any IPA file of your choice. Once the IPA file is imported, tap on it, and select. Import to library. Now tap on library, tap on the target app, and select sign and install. And finally tap on start signing. And now when you get this pop-up, simply tap on install. And here you go, the target app will be installed successfully. As you can see the app is launching without any issues or error. Now here comes an important part. So whenever you install an app successfully, it's mandatory to switch to DNS setup that blocks the PPQ domain. To do so, head over to settings and VPN and device management and navigate to DNS settings and now cut off the internet from your device by turning on the airplane mode and simply switch the DNS to anything but install only option. Once you have made the switch, just disable the airplane mode and now you can normally use your device and stay connected to the internet. Now as you can see, both the INDS app and the KSign app are working properly. But what if you do not switch the DNS during installation? As you can see, I have not switched to install only DNS setup. And now when I sign and install an IPA file, without switching the DNS. Although the app is installed. But when I try to launch the app, it shows this unable to verify error. And going back to VPN and device management, you can see that the target app is not verified. And tapping of the verify option, does not fix anything. So to fix the issue, simply navigate to the DNS settings, next, turn on airplane mode, and then switch the DNS to install only. Turn off the airplane mode, and connect to internet now. Go back to that app, and tap on it. If it still stays unable to verify, do not worry go to VPN and device management, into the certificate option, and as you can see, now it says verified. 
And now miraculously, the Target app is launching without any issues at all. So in a nutshell, choose the install only DNS only when installing apps. And after installation, switch back to any DNS setup other than install only. Turn on airplane mode and cut off internet when switching DNS. If you are already blacklisted, this method won't work. But if you do not want these hassle, go to my website and tap on this button here. You can purchase these developer certificates for as low as $7.90 for an entire year and sideloaded unlimited IPA files without revokes or blacklist and with notification and JIT support. That's all for now. If you want to set video animated wallpaper on your iOS device, watch my next video and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.